Welcome back. We are here in Ethereum, and uh, this is going to be my daily forecast for the EDFs. And this is basically uh, new videos that we are making here on the Bears and Bulls channel. And um, yes, we're going to cover uh, five different ETFs. So and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 8, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And uh, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at uh, ARK Innovations. This is going to be our first ETF that we're going to look at. And well, as you can see, this uh, uh, recently uh, was added to, um, to Ether as there is very little price action for this ETF. This is basically the uh, daily uh, chart and we are only going back towards uh, November here in 2020. But that's also fine. We can see that we had this massive rally here and it basically was rallying in 2020 and has been uh, been one of the best performing ETFs to, there has been but since then we have basically fallen apart uh, it is um, we got the highs here of 159 and uh, we went to the very lows here only a few weeks ago to 108 so it it lost a uh, well fair big portion of its value and the uh, main reason for that is because of those uh, uh, stocks that uh, are included in this ETF, for example, Tesla has basically also had the same uh, moves uh, in recent um, recent weeks. So falling by 40, uh, 40 nearly 50% uh, in the last few tra trading days. If you look at technical indicators for this EDF, we can see that uh, we are in negative territory here in the MACD, still above the above the signal line. Stochastic is also bullish. The CCI is turning around, and the RSI is bearish at this point. So we're heading, we're just at the 20 exponential. So if we rally from here, we'll most likely find resistance at 131. If we break it down from here, we'll most likely find uh, support down here at the 110. At the moment, we really choppy trading basically in this ETF. So next one is going to be uh, DVI. So as you can see, we have been uh, rallying all the way back here in the beginning of 2021. We are getting fairly overstretched and uh, having a pullback today. We are trading at uh, the highest here of 116 and now we're trading 115. Technical indicators, uh, MACD is still underneath the signal line. Uh, we are basically in bearish momentum here. Uh, the the C stochastic is bullish. The CCI is flat, but it's still above 100. And the RSI is uh, almost over uh, bought at this current stage. We are at 68, but flat at this current stage. So we could see a pullback towards the 20 exponential. The fit. Uh, the 20 exponential has been major support in the basically past. You can see it right here, 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 and also here, and also here. So it has basically been bouncing off the 20 exponential. But it has not had this massive moves recently as we have seen basically in March and February. So let's look at uh, VTI. So uh, Vanguard, uh, we can see that uh, we have also basically nearly got towards the bottom of the range here at 119, and then we have rallied up towards 112. Now we're running, uh, basically getting very overstretched here at the top of the bullish band and a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band at uh, 206, as kind of expected at this current stage. Tech indicators are turning around. They're still bullish. The MACD is still bullish. The stochastic is uh, crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. Uh, CCI is still over 100, uh, but is turning uh, around and becoming bearish. And so is the RSI is basically flat at this point. So pullback towards the 20 exponential, that could basically be where buyers come back in and buy. Otherwise, break below that could open the door to the 50 at 204 or the very bottom of the bullish band at 201. So let's look at HE. So we can see that uh, we basically uh, rallied from the big, uh, basically all the way back here in in basically March. We basically broke down where we bottom at the, at the beginning of the coronavirus. Uh, down here at 50 and since then we have basically been rallying and we got almost towards 100 so we uh, 
stopped here at the top of the range at uh, at 97 and since then we have basically broken down all the way down towards that 200 moving average and um, so at this current stage, uh, we have rallied towards the 20 exponential and 20 exponential has proven to be major resistant. And today we gapped down and then we rallied a little bit. However, this is a massive breakdown towards the 200 moving average. But when you have almost a doubling uh, it within one year, you should expect uh, a pull back in this um, ETF. So if you look at the Fibonacci retracement, we have for a very long run here, we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement at this uh, 38.2 is around here at uh, 79, also where we basically rallied from here. If we break below this, we can head towards the 50 at 73, and then we have the 61.8 all the way down here at the 60, 68. So there is uh, quite a lot of room to the downside where if the 200 moving average basically breaks. A rally above the 20 that will find resistance at the 60, 86 and then the 50 moving average. Technically, they are all looking very bearish at this current stage. So we'll have next one and the last one is um, is uh, IBV. And at the moment, we're trading at the 407. We're getting fairly overstretched here. And we could see most likely see this pull back towards the middle of the bullish band around 396. Break below that, opens the door to the 50, and the 50 has been major resistant in the past. See it here, 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 and also here, and also further back. So it has been bouncing off the 20 and has been bouncing off the 50. So at this current stage, 50 is at uh, give or take 390. The, 20 exponential is at 397. Technical gears are turning around except for the MACD, but if this, we are getting fairly overstretched here and we're also on the edge of being overbought. So we are in uptrend, so pullbacks are basically, basically buy on the dips What in this case. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.